New York City tonight about to become the biggest no smoking zone in the country. Smoking will be illegal in 1700 parks along 14 miles of beaches, even in parts of Times Square. The vote by the city council, but only after a fierce debate pitting the rights of non smokers versus those who light up. Here's Jim Dolan. On a cold February night, maybe you'd think it was too cold for smoking outside, but some dedicated few did put their fingers and lungs at risk to steal a few puffs. But by early May, this is all going to be illegal as city council today banned smoking in outdoor public gathering places. It's good because, you know, it also helps conserve other people's health because when you're smoking around them, you know, yeah. then, you know, secondhand smoke and all that stuff. The law bans smoking in all 1,700 parks in the city, plus 14 miles of public beaches and boardwalks, marinas and pedestrian plazas. I'm all for it. <laughs> I, I, I really don't like cigarette smoke. I think uh, it's dangerous uh, just to inhale. Secondhand smoke is very dangerous, you know. Of course, not, not everybody agrees with this whole idea and, and some people who do smoke like to point out that it's still legal to smoke and they're wondering where they get to do that now. I'm being forced to do something that I don't want to do, right? That's that's bad. At De La Conca Tobacco, customers said the new law went way too far. The park is so big, I can't believe that it's going to be bothering anybody. Are you stopping cars from going through there? If this is a pollution thing, they give out more pollution than than a pipe smoker or a cigar smoker would. In Midtown, Jim Dolan, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Well, not surprisingly, we have received some passionate feedback from folks on both sides of this debate. We're hearing from viewers on our Facebook page for and against the outdoor smoking ban. First from Kerry Rodriguez. He writes, last I checked, this is America, land of the free. These politicians want to tell me where I can smoke, but they have no problem spending the money and extra taxes I pay for cigarettes. And this from Joanna Quillies. Thank God I can't stand people smoking around me and my kids. I know smokers don't like to hear this, but why should the people who do not smoke have to suffer? And we invite you to send your comments to 7online.com.